Gases in chemical reactions. Methanol, CH3OH, can be synthesized by the following reaction. CO gaseous plus two H2 gaseous react to form CH3OH gaseous. What volume in liters of hydrogen gas measured at a temperature of 355 K and a pressure of 738 millimeters of mercury is required to synthesize 35.7 grams of methanol. We're given in this problem that we want to synthesize 35.7 grams of methanol, CH3OH. at a temperature of 355K and a pressure of 738 millimeters of mercury. We want to find the volume of hydrogen that is required. In our conceptual plan, we're going to begin much as we would any stoichiometric problem. We're going to take the mass of the alcohol, convert it to moles, then take the moles of alcohol, relate that to moles of hydrogen, and then we will use the ideal gas law to convert the moles of hydrogen to the liters of hydrogen. So what we need in order to solve this is we need the relationship between grams of methyl alcohol and moles of the alcohol. And this is the molar mass of the alcohol. So the molar mass of CH3OH is 32.04 grams per mole. The relationship between the moles of the alcohol and moles of hydrogen comes from the balanced equation. So the equation says that two moles of hydrogen react to form one mole of the alcohol. And finally, the relationship needed to convert moles to liters is the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, for which we know that R is equal to 0 0.082 zero six liter atmosphere per mole K. So with this information in hand, we're ready to solve the problem. Starting with the number of grams of the alcohol, 35.7, convert that to moles using the molar mass. One mole of the alcohol is 32.04 grams 
of the alcohol. So the grams of alcohol cancel, and this gives us the moles, which is equal to 1.1142 mole. which is good to the third significant digit based on the number of grams. The second factor then is to take this and to relate it to the moles of hydrogen using the stoichiometric relationship of two moles of hydrogen to one mole of the alcohol. So one point one one four two mole of the alcohol can be related to two moles of hydrogen reacting to form one mole of the alcohol. So moles of alcohol cancel and this gives us the number of moles of hydrogen that can form which will be 2.2284 moles of hydrogen. Finally, solving the ideal gas law for volume, the volume will be equal to the number of moles of hydrogen times RT over the pressure. However, the pressure was given to us in millimeters of mercury and before substituting into the equation we must first convert the pressure to atmospheres. Pressure is equal to 738 millimeters of mercury and we know that in one atmosphere we have 760 millimeters of mercury. So this gives us a pressure of 0 0.97 one zero five atmosphere a number that is good to the third one two three significant figure so now we can substitute and solve for the volume of hydrogen so the volume of hydrogen is equal to 2.2284 moles times 0 0.0 eight two zero six liter atmosphere per mole K times three hundred fifty five K 
all divided by zero point nine seven one zero five atmosphere. The Kelvins cancel, the atmospheres cancel, the moles cancel, leaving us with liters and an answer of 66.9 liters. Let's check to make sure that our answer is reasonable. The units of the answer are correct. We have units of liters, and that is a volume. The magnitude of the answer, 66.9 liters, seems reasonable since you are given slightly more than one molar mass of methanol, which is therefore slightly more than one mole of methanol. From the equation, you can see that two moles of hydrogen are required to make one mole of methanol. Therefore, the answer must be slightly greater than two moles of hydrogen. Under standard conditions, slightly more than two moles of hydrogen occupy slightly more than two times 22.4 liters, which equals 44.8 liters. At a temperature greater than standard temperature, the volume would be even greater. Therefore, the magnitude of the answer is reasonable.